from Lady Behind the Curtain wishing you a happy Halloween. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can upcycle your jelly jars, your pickle jars, and your baby food jars into a fun and easy Halloween decoration or party favor. Instead of making Christmas snow globes, we're going to make spooky Halloween globes. So let's get started. So the first thing you want is to collect your jars. Now something I did notice is that when I bought, when I used a store-bought jar, it did not, it was not waterproof at all. So I would highly recommend you using something that had food in it that was sealed and has a really good jar lid. So um, first thing you need to do is clean your jar. Now you get the label off and uh, I had really hard glue. So I stuck it in the microwave for 30 seconds and it kind of loosened up the glue a little bit. And then I use a razor blade and you get off all the really thick glue first. Then you use Windex and that will take all the goopy stuff off, still scraping with your razor blade. And use a paper towel and it will come off nice and clean. So, next thing you do is collect items. I went to the Dollar Tree. I found they have really neat um, Halloween Village stuff. So I got that and I got um, some plastic skeleton heads and eyeballs. Just a bunch of different fun things. Today I want to show you how to do a spider. So first thing you do is get a piece of styrofoam and place whatever you're going to have in your jar on your styrofoam and then just trace around the edges. Now once you do that, I found that using a hot knife was the way to go. I first used a straight knife. It worked fine. It's just super messy. Um, this is really cheap one. So uh, let me show you how easy it just slices. Let me see if I can show you this right here. Look how easy that just goes. It's so awesome. I love it. Okay, so once you have your piece cut, then you're going to use um, some black paint. And go ahead and, and paint your, I painted it black because that way it kind of goes with the theme. So once you paint it, then um, I'll have the kind of paint that I used, I'll have it in my blog post and, and you can uh, find that there. I did use this really awesome liquid fusion glue. This is waterproof. It's amazing. So the next thing you're going to want to do is take your painted block. What I did is I put it in, I kind of just measured the depth as to where I wanted my figure to end up inside the jar. That's kind of how big I made my um, styrofoam. I used this on the lid and then I also used it on the figure or on, as in this case, the spider leg. I would recommend letting it dry for 24 hours. It says four hours, but I would do the whole 24 just to make sure it's nice and dry. So then the next thing I did is I filled my jar with water and then I would put the item, whatever it was, whether it was this or, and plunge it in there and see how high the water came up on my jar. So I just kept adding water, adding water until it was almost to the top. Then I pulled it back out and then that would give me the water level or the oil level that I needed. So then I took a permanent marker and I marked that where it should be. Then I dumped it out. And don't worry about the marker. This can be removed with fingernail polish remover. So then I used baby oil. Now I this one snow globe, this one is done with water, and I really didn't like, I mean it works fine, but it doesn't, what I really liked about the baby oil is that it keeps, I love how it keeps the glitter kind of suspended. It's really cool. I really liked that effect. I did use corn syrup. It kind of made it all cloudy, and I really didn't like that. I found that baby oil is the way to go. And so, anyway, so I took my baby oil and filled it to that point. Then I took the lid and 
with the glue filled the edges of the inside of the lid all the way around. Then all you have to do is submerge it and it should not overflow for you. Tighten it as tight. Oh, don't forget to add your glitter. Big thing. Don't forget. And it's not, you know, like a few sprinkles. You don't need a whole lot. You can. It's up to you how you want it to be. Okay, once you have done that, then you tighten it on and it will seal up for you. Leave it like this another 24 hours and um, it will be watertight. Little kids are not going to get this open. Nice and safe for them. And um, once you do that, then you can decorate. I used an assortment of things. I found these really fun Halloween tapes at Dollar Tree. And also you could use different sizes depending on how big your lid is. You could use different sizes of ribbon. So what I did though to really secure it is I took some double stick tape and taped it. Just little pieces all the way around. And then if I was using the tape, I would still use the double stick and just bring it all the way around. And then what you do, it's more likely it's a, you want it above and then you just snip all the way around and then you can fold it in to secure it. I will have details on the post again about how and real, how I did it and really good pictures on showing you how I did it. But anyway, so once you have that all done, you have got the coolest decoration. Look at this. I wanted to show you these. Dollar Tree. You get these. Glue it on. And look at this fun thing. Oh, I love this. I just love this. You can do that so you can have all different levels because you've got different size jars and um, all different things. Look at that. Enjoy. Click on the link below for a close-up look of how to make these fun, spooky Halloween globes. And for more Halloween ideas, visit LadyBehindTheCurtain.com.